think it's crazy how quickly and how much it's, it's growing. Um, I was involved with Extremely um, in the first race actually and I was a little bit informally and both concepts, when they first came about and I first heard about them, um, I was quite stunned that that was ever going to happen. They all seemed like crazy ideas and in our sport, in motorsport, you don't really see that much change and you know this much um, you know forward thinking. So to see it grow as much as it has and obviously with the help of PIF to make this happen, um, it's incredible and I'm really excited to see how uh, E1 takes off as well in, in part of all this yeah, exciting new motorsport. You mentioned a bit of um, your experience with the two sports, but what is your background in racing? So I started in go-karts um, when I was about 12 or 13 years old. Um, just fell completely in love with the sport, um, progressed very much as a hobby, uh, wanted to make it a career and I think I just was lucky enough to have a few opportunities as I went up and you know, fortunately one of my big opportunities was something like Extreme E which has this great um, dynamic where you have one male driver, one female driver and that gave me the opportunity to race at a level that I hadn't raced at before and as well in Formula E I had the chance to test the car in an all-female test that they, they provided. So through these opportunities and chances I've now got the chance to be over in America um, racing full-time over there so yeah, I'm very lucky. How important is it do you think that there is that gender equality in these series. Really important. It's a sport that's unique. We can have women competing at the top level against men. It's not a sport that necessarily needs to be segregated. And I think we need to make the most out of that. And whilst it's traditionally been male dominated, 50% of the population is female. And that is a group of people that have every opportunity to be involved in the sport. If not as drivers, as mechanics, engineers, you know, any role within the sport is, is available to them. So creating these opportunities, creating the visibility like Extreme Mead has done, for example, um, I think it's going to make a big difference and hopefully begin to change the face of the sport.